Ooh, is it getting hot in here? Hey there, it's Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. And today we're going to be talking all about kiln safety. I'm going to start off by talking about some basic kiln safety. The first thing you'll want to make sure that you have is a good working fire extinguisher in close proximity to your kiln that you know how to use. Next, you're gonna to wanna to think about the ventilation for when you run your kiln. In this particular kiln room, we have a ventilation system built in. So we simply just flick a light switch and the vents are on. Just as a basic practice for safety, for us during the school year, we just leave it on all the time. So we don't have a mishap where the kiln is running and that isn't turned on. In addition, in this room, we have windows. So we crack the windows as well for some ventilation. One tool that you'll want to have in your kiln room is a little broom and dustpan. If a project does break, you'll want to sweep up any pieces and remove that from your kiln. When you're doing any cleaning of your kiln, you may want to wear a mask because the clay dust is very unhealthy. If you have a major explosion in your kiln, you're going to want to borrow a shop vac, one with a little soft broom attachment, and you would want to vacuum out the coils in the edge of your kiln. Another tool you'll want to get your hands on are kiln gloves. These are simply leather gloves that are meant to withstand the heat. Now, you don't want to leave these or any other objects on top of your kiln. Now, this is also something that I would do during the summer. Do not get into the habit of storing things on top of your kiln ever. Be aware that nothing should be within three feet of your kiln at all times, and you should be aware of any flammable objects within your kiln space. So you would watch out for boxes and especially paper. Um, if a small piece of paper, such as a post-it that might be marking a class's clay project, comes loose and floats off onto your kiln, you're going to have some troubles. Be sure that you are never opening up the kiln while it is still firing. Hopefully that is obvious, but don't get excited. If the kiln, you know, turns off and you're still at school one evening, you don't want to open this up. You're going to hear like a little pinging sound if you do take a peek. And that is because the air temperature is changing too quick and you could have your clay crack. You'll want to make sure at the end of the day that you remember to turn the kiln off. So get into the habit of once you fire that kiln and get it started for the day that you set an alarm so that you remember to turn it off. For me, I also write it on my afternoon to do list and I will write this within my lesson plan. So I'm seeing this in a couple different places and I'm not forgetting if you do forget because it's going to happen, make sure that you have a backup plan in place. Make sure that you could text a custodian to turn it off, or you could contact your administrator after hours. When I turn my kiln off, I turn it off first from the panel on the wall to completely shut power off to the kiln. And then as an added um, safety measure, I turn the kiln off itself. I'll take all the dials and then turn them back to off. If you are setting up your kiln for the very first time, you'll want to look onto the side of your kiln for a little panel that gives you information about how many watts are used. Kilns use a lot more electricity than, let's say, a pencil sharpener. So you'll want to consult an electrician to make sure that the plug you have in the wall matches with the wattage that you have coming from your kiln. Many other safety specifics are going to be found within your kiln's manual. Now, if you don't still have that booklet that your kiln came with, this is definitely available online. Just look up the manufacturer's name and then find your model. Something you'll want to note is how far your kiln should be from the wall. So if you're first setting it up, it's in that correct space because kilns are very heavy and very hard to move. I sure hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that you'll watch my video on clay next.